What's up everyone? It's Friday, September 10th, 2021. It's about 6.30 in the evening and it's 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. I'm here on Staten Island today and I'll be walking through the neighborhood of St. George. St. George is the northernmost neighborhood in Staten Island. Originally it was occupied by the Lenape Native Americans, then colonized by the Dutch and the British. But it's got, it got its name after developer George Law. And in fact, Mr. Law was not a saint at all. The confusion came because there was a, another developer called Erastus Weeman, or Women, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but he was also another developer in New York City's borough of Staten Island, which promised to quote unquote canonize Mr. George Law to give up his land rights to uh, the terminal. Back then, this neighborhood was called uh, New Brighton. But New Brighton still exists, it's just further west of here. But I'm starting off this walk at Wall Street at the intersection of Stuyvesant Place. We are one block away from the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. Actually, we're a few blocks away from the Staten Island Ferry Terminal, but we're one block away from the uh, Empire Outlets. That's what I was going to say, and the waterfront area. Here we've got the Staten Island Museum. It's a gorgeous old building. I'm not sure if this still houses the Staten Island Museum because I saw a sign there that said uh, move and visit us at the Snug Harbor, which is uh, not too far away from here. St. George is known for the Staten Island Ferry, which connects Manhattan and Staten Island. Also the Empire Outlets uh, shopping mall. As I said, this is the northernmost neighborhood in Staten Island. It's only five miles from Manhattan. That's why they built the ferry terminal here. This street has a lot of restaurants. Here's a pizzeria. The burrito shop. buildings with fire escapes, St. George Court. St. George is also known for being the home of the boroughs, borough hall and all the government offices. There's a Thai restaurant, Chang Noi Thai. This over here is the College of Staten Island, part of the City University of New York system. Another multi-story apartment building. Here's the New York City Family Justice Center.
fancy name to say a family court. Well, maybe not. It says uh, end domestic gender-based violence, domestic abuse. But there probably is a family court in there as well. I know this building to the left of me is a court building. Actually, I believe this is the Burrow Hall of Staten Island. Public entrance is around the corner. No, this is a courthouse. It says you should not enter the courthouse. But we'll also go around the corner and uh, clarify that. Another Thai restaurant and Hypnotronic Comics. Yeah, I was right. This here is the Staten Island Borough Hall. And this is a courthouse. I don't know why I was doubting myself before. But really gorgeous Burrow Hall building. New Yorkers like to call Staten Island the forgotten borough just because it's so removed from everything. In memory of Commodore John Barry, father of the American Navy, Giovanni da Verrazzano, native of Florence, Italy, discovered Staten Island April 17, 1524. Staten Island Historic Society. Nice they got that little plaque there. So what I'll do is I'll go down that staircase, I'll show you the front of the courthouse building and then I'll loop back around because there's an important building that I want to show you on Hyatt Street over to my left. Going this way will also allow me to show you the Empire Outlets from across the street and the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. It's completely free to ride the Staten Island Ferry. If you got a beautiful courtyard. Take a look at all those buses waiting to depart. The Staten Island Ferry Terminal isn't just home to the boats, but also to all these buses as well. It's a major transportation hub for the entire borough. Ferry Terminal is down that way. And the Empire Outlets is over here. The city put a lot of money into this Empire Outlets shopping mall. Yeah, that's right. That's me. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. Have a good one. All right.
as I said, this Empire Outlets, the city put a lot of money into this shopping mall and it's expanding, more retailers are joining it. In fact, I went there today, there's actually a Japanese restaurant and a bubble tea store on the fourth floor before that wasn't even open. And there's also a Shake Shack on the ground level too. But it's still a very quiet mall. Richmond County Courthouse building. Have a good night. Uh, have a good night. The front of the Staten Island Borough Hall. Welcome to St. George, established 1886. Down here is uh, Bay Street. Pretty much hugs the eastern coast of Staten Island all the way to Fort, uh, Fort Wadsworth where it becomes New York Avenue. We've got the New York Public Library branch up on the hill here. St. George isn't really a large neighborhood. It's bounded on the west by Jersey Street and Victory Boulevard to the south. Victory Boulevard is another large commercial service, I mean a uh, commercial area. Take a look at this.
New York Public Library. Here's the stat now and say, hey, you meet again. Yeah. <laughs> and the famous St. George Theater. Inside this theater is a really beautiful, ornate uh, performance area. This is a great view of the Borough Hall from further up the hill. Too bad the gates are rolled down because it's really beautiful in there. St. Mark's Place and Hyatt Street. So I'm gonna go south now towards Victory Boulevard. And I'll show you a little bit of that area. Hey! Oh, no problem. She just startled me a little bit and uh, I dropped my phone, but it's fine, it's in the case. Gorgeous old house. Looks like this building over to my left is the Staten Island District Attorney's Office.
And I see Victory Boulevard all the way down there, the bottom of the hill. Over to our left, municipal parking lot. Plenty of space here to park your car. All right, now we have a bunch of weeds to deal with. Better to walk in the street. Victory Boulevard is a main street through Staten Island. Goes pretty much all the way to the western part of the island in the central area. And this, is al this also marks the boundary of um, St. George. To the south of us is Tompkinsville. Tompkinsville Hill Pharmacies closed. What I think I'll do is I'll walk another two blocks and I'll end this video. just because I need to go back to the ferry terminal and get a boat. Chinese takeout restaurant, new chef Hong Kitchen. Here's a Mexican restaurant and grocery store.
Victory Boulevard is very windy. So many different mom and pop places here. Mexican places, African places. There's African Union LLC market. Beauty supply, African foods. All right, everyone, I will be ending my video here at Victory Boulevard and Monroe Avenue. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of St. George, the northernmost neighborhood on Staten Island. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.